the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. And we'll begin with the picture of the day, and I really like this picture right here, because if you take a look at it, this is the South Fork of the Boise River. A lot of green showing up, showing, yeah, we've got some moisture when you go to the right locations. This is an excellent shot submitted by Gretchen uh, Shetler. She's age 58, she wants to tell us, and this is while she was dirt bike riding. What a beautiful shot. Thanks for stopping to take that picture. Winner of the Neil Allen Weather Picture of the Day. And if you'd like to send your pictures to us, you can send them to iContribute at KIVITV.com, and you could, as Gretchen just did win a picnic basket. All right, let's take a look at that high temperature. I said we'd hit 95 for the high today. Came right in at 95. Mid 90s across the board in the Church Valley. It looks like mid to upper 90s could be hit and then back to the lower 90s. I'll sort out the details in my extended forecast. In the meantime, there's your high temperature in Boise at 95, 97 in Ontario and Mountain Home. Boy, those extra few degrees sure do make it hot. Now, Eastern Oregon going to get a little bit different as we head to the day tomorrow. I think we'll start to see a chance for some lightning coming in. That's why we've got a fire weather watch in effect. So you get a watch and then a warning first, right? So fire weather watch for the possibility of a lot of lightning for Wednesday and Thursday for Eastern Oregon. Red flag warning already in place for the day tomorrow here in South Central Oregon. When you wake up tomorrow, this yellow may all be red, at least a portion of it for a red flag warning for later in the day Wednesday. That's Wednesday evening into the day on Thursday. The best place for some lightning strikes and gusty winds. Going to keep an eye on that for you. Where were the storms today? We had a few pop up right here in Southeast Oregon. Uh, South Southeast Oregon and Southern Hawaii County. By the way, Rome, Oregon today. Temperature went from 90 to 77 in 20 minutes as the wind gusted to 43 miles an hour as this little storm went on through. So if we get storms in Southeast Oregon, we could get some of those gusty winds to come into the Treasure Valley. There's always a chance, even though we don't get any storms, we may get some gusty winds from it. So I have to keep an eye on that for you. In the meantime, satellite pictures of future cast shows a few clouds tomorrow and on Thursday, maybe some isolated storms, but it's really Oregon where there's a better chance for the, some of that storm to come through. High pressure is just keeping us hot. So my forecast is a hot one indeed. 97 tomorrow in uh, Ontario. Boise at 96. Mountain Home 97. Bale could come in at 99 tomorrow. So it will be scorching heat with a chance for some late day storms in eastern Oregon. West Central Mountains. Valley County McCall. Beautiful evening on Payette Lake. Could be real nice tomorrow in the 80s after lows in the upper 40s. 40s in Idaho City, but getting into the 90s in the afternoon. Still mostly sunny. A slight chance for a storm in Boise County. Watch out for the potential for gusty winds if you see storms building off on the horizon. East Central Mountains, I have a feeling just mostly sunny. Uh, temperatures primarily in the 80s after a nice, cool morning. Magic Valley, Gooding at 91. Twin 91, mostly sunny skies. I don't think we'll get the gusty winds there. My on your side extended forecast, not a big change here. Heading into the weekend, we could go to 97 Friday, but then down to 92 on Sunday. And you see a couple 20% showing up here. That's the isolated ch chance for a thunderstorm late in the day, maybe on Thursday. I now think that Thursday morning will have some cloud cover. So that 65 may end up being 70 with a high of 94. Mm. Yeah. So Thursday could be a little oh. bit hotter because of that. We were looking at more possibility of thunderstorms earlier in the week, and it looks like that hasn't panned out yes, as much. Yes, it's which is good. Staying in eastern Oregon, which yeah. would be better, though we have a slight chance in southwest Idaho. It's more eastern Oregon, yeah. That's right. We expect Thank some you. smoke tomorrow. Morning. Yes, smoke tomorrow morning in the valley because of the fire up north. All right, thanks, Scott. Up next, Coach Pete gives some insight on where the Broncos stand as they prepare for their big matchup against Washington. And still to come, it's Shark Week on Discovery Channel. We're going to show you how they're <laughs> taking a big bite out oh. of the ratings.